All right, everybody, right now it's that time. It is officially that time. People have been waiting all morning for this, and it has come. Mr. Brendan Fraser on the phone. Brendan, good morning. I feel like I should good call morning. you Mr. Fraser for some reason, but I hope Brendan, Brendan is acceptable. Or hey, you. Yeah. That works. Hey, good, good. Hey. We're, we're yeah. Hey you, hey you guy on the phone that's doing movies and stuff. Um, hey, you yelled Big Sky Country there at some point. Are you uh, are you familiar with Montana? I'm a fond, fond, fond. I'm a fond, I'm a fondue. I, well, that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm thinking about fondue um, because it's Valentine's Day. But yeah, I'm very fond of Montana. Have you been, have you I, shot movies here? Do you come here for vacation? Or you no, just? I've not worked there, but I've visited uh, plenty. I've skied it. Done a little bit of the uh, trap shooting there. Did uh, killed a few bald eagles. Fantastic Fourth of July last year. Oh wow, it was over the top fun. Yeah, good. Well, it's nice. Uh, rode in hot air balloon. You've done a lot uh, here. Uh, floated down the Blackfoot. Wow. A couple times. You're uh, legit. Sampled the local uh, breweries. Very nice. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, There's got to got to be red. more. Anything like that? No. Nope, that's good. That. Man. That's uh, all solid. You need to move here. Did you know John Mayer lives up in Bozeman now and Katy Perry stays there with him? I mean, we've got like s- straight up legit. Bozeman's a cool town. Yeah, you need to move. Well, Bozeman's a cool town. You need to get here. We need to get you a place up here. You I mean, know, I, I can, I, you know, that sounds really tempting, and, uh, but um, I've got I've to anchor my life in um, being a dad guy in the, I live in the Northeast in New York and, um, I, 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 it's a nice place for me to visit, for sure. Not that I don't want to live there, but I think that um, it's Im- it's just important for me right now to be close to my kids. Yeah. And I like get, that, you know. I get it. I like get people it. People do when they move to Montana and have their kids there. Exactly. Or they, you know, enjoy their family lives there because it's a great place for families. It is. Grow. That's why I like this so much because my kids love it too. Yeah, exactly. It's a good place you can go and the kids can enjoy themselves and you can really? enjoy yourself. And uh, do you horseback get... riding, hiking? I know. You know what, you want to do. what more do you That's want? What I love about the place, just like you know, why are you not hurting anybody? Exactly. What I want to do. Use, use common sense, and you're good. You know, it, I like mm-hmm. it. It's a good place. When you're here, do people recognize you? Is it one of those things like, oh, my gosh, it's Brendan Fraser, or can you kind of fly under the radar when you're up here in Montana? I, I'm told to have just, like, one of those faces, so I get recognized frequently. Is it as Brendan Fraser, or is it a lot like, I know you yeah, from somewhere? Yeah, or like, hey, aren't you that guy that owes me 50 bucks? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm going to beat <laughs> your ass. You owe me money from that bet hey, last man. year about the Super Bowl. Oh, man. Uh, let's. We were talking about family and how much your family uh, enjoys coming up here uh, to Montana. Speaking of families, we've got Escape from Planet Earth, which is a fantastic family movie. Collar them. Take them to this movie. I know I'm supposed to go... Come and see the movie Escape from Planet Earth. It is very good. There, I mean, just to make Harvey Weinstein happy. Yeah, I did it, have a conversation with him the other night because he sent me an email going, Will you "Please do some radio interviews." I was like, well, he's Harvey, and like, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, if Harvey Weinstein tells you to do something, you just uh, you automatically <laughs> just per- say yes. He's persuasive that way. I think he went all the way to Vegas to get George Lopez to do a voice in the movie. Just, <laughs> just like, something. And uh, well, tell us about the movie a little bit here. It's Escape from Planet Earth. It's you and about every other actor in Hollywood. All right. Imagine all your favorite sort of sci-fi 50s-esque sort of movies. Okay? Okay. We know you're out there. And now, turn the tables on the world of them. So, the Earth becomes the dark planet. Ooh. And the Earth, otherwise, other planet would be uh, the planet Bob. B-A-A-B, as in Weinstein, mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess. I like Bob. it. <laughs> and, and they're blue, and they're alien, but they're not alien to each other, but there are two brothers. Bob Cordry is a mission controller at the BASA Academy. He's mm-hmm. a funny dude. He, say, he says, uh, yes, I play Gary, Supernova, the older brother of Scorch Supernova, played by Brandon Fraser. Uh, and the good thing is, is that I look just like Gary. I uh, am blue, and I'm bald, and I sound just like him. You're perfect. Rob Cordry. There you and go. Brothers, as you know, families, they squabble. They might not get along. But when you pull together in the same direction, you can get cool things done. Yeah. And the... the, the the, the hook for me was that feeling of, you know what, 
do the right thing, and good things will happen. And aside from that, sort of vitamin nutritional family friendly content, take it, believe me, it's it's wing nut fun. <laughs> yeah, wing nut fun for the whole family. I don't whatever age you are, it's whiz bang good time. There you go. There's, they're, 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 they're zany, crazy, in alien vision 3D colors. Um, Sarah Jessica Parker populate the cast with Sophia Vergara. Oh, yeah. William Shatner. George Lopez. Yeah, Bill Shatner. Jane Lynch. Oh, my gosh. It's everybody. Parker. Ricky Gervais. Steve Zahn does a cameo in it. You've got everybody. This is a, this is a movie, like Brendan said. Ricky Gervais. Just, he pops up. Yeah. Too. If you want to go see a movie that's just fun and whiz bang boom, Escape from Planet Earth is the film. But if you want to escape from Planet Earth? Go see Escape from Planet Earth. Exactly. If you yeah, if that's your plan, if you're thinking get the heck out of this planet, this is kind of a documentary on how it would look and what what <laughs> what it'll be like. You know what? I'm going to call him up and give you credit for that. I got it. I got it. I got the tagline. There it is. Want to get off the world? <laughs> This is your film. And other than that, you've been a little bit busy here. I see that you have 467 different films in post-production right now. Is that Does that seem like a, a normal workload for you as an actor? Uh, sometimes you work on them and work on them and work on them. They overlap, and then they get, in a way, kind of like stuff in, stuck in the pipes or, you know, like... They on, take forever. ...runway ready for takeoff. And, you know, it's not so much about... It's just about timing and finding out which festival and what we're going to release and blah, 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 and all kinds of other grown-up stuff. But mm-hmm. um, I, I, I kept busy working on uh, projects that didn't have to uh, have me... Smaller <laughs> projects. ...carry it all on my own broad shoulders if I can pat myself in the back a little bit here. And, 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 uh, and... Yeah, they do two weeks here, three weeks here, a couple of days here, that kind of thing. Um, on on projects that um, gave me the time to stay closer to my family in um, where I make my home in New York. And Very cool. So, you know, they roll out, and it's a it's always a competitive marketplace, and the, the showbiz business has always been an unpredictable one. But um, it just uh, look, there's something to look forward to in just waiting for their they'll they'll, they'll roll out in their own time and their own release. There you uh, go. Exactly. Time. Um, it's always cool when an animated feature comes out knowing that it takes oh gosh, years and thousands of man hours just to create moments in these movies. Oh, and yeah, with the voices and the animation and putting it all together. I mean, yeah, that's a big old project. So finally, Escape from Planet Earth is coming out. Brendan started it actually back in uh, 1976 was when he did his voice work, and it's finally come together. So <laughs> congratulations to finally see this one to fruition. That's got to feel good for you. And, uh, yeah, it was awesome. It. It, it, speaking of all the news here, you talk about family spending time in uh, in f- in New York with the family. The big news, Brendan Fraser, aside from Escape from Planet Earth, everywhere on the internet says you're having a huge battle with your ex-wife over money. True or not true? It's not a huge battle. No, it's a it's a a very civil discourse. Okay. And, um, there is some truth to that, but I would be remiss to comment on that. And Afton is. A wonderful mother. Yeah, that's she a- is extraordinarily beautiful as a mother, and my kids are so much better for it. And I couldn't. It, that, whatever the battle's over doesn't matter compared to that. Yeah, that's a good point, man. I like the way I like the way you put it. It's like, you know what, yeah, money's one thing, this is one thing. It's like, as long as you've got a good mom taking care of your kids and your kids are healthy and happy. No, no I don't have a good mom. I, I, my children's mother is extraordinary. Oh, she's that good. She's a, she, no, she's exceptional. She's there. exceptional. I'm not paying lip service just so that you can go blah, blah, blah and report it back. I mean it. Exactly. True. She's exceptional. And she's a good friend, too. Well, good to know. I'm glad to, glad to know that's all working out. Obviously, the career's going well. You're going to spend time with the kids and still do a lot of projects. And Escape from Planet Earth is a fun one that's all put together, ready to go. You can call uh, you know, the Weinstein guys and let them know that, uh, that you did your part here and uh, did an interview. Go see Escape from Planet Earth because Brendan Fraser took the time, and he comes to Montana. So he supports our state's economy. We support him by 
by seeing Escape from Planet Earth. Brendan, it's been great talking to you, man. Thanks so much for taking the time. And Got it, Big J. Maybe I'll see, you on a, a lot, y'all. I'll see you on a ski hill sometime or something up here. I'm looking forward to it. All right, That's see cool. you, Brendan. Have a good one, man. Take care. Bye. Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10 on Billings' number one hit music station, Hot 101.9.